Hello beautiful people. Hello Wendy. Hello H-Town. Welcome in. Sorry, just not all set up properly yet again. You know, you know how we do things on the fly, right? And yet, oh, there we go. That's a little more straight. <laughs> it would be the stream if I didn't have fails, right? Ooh, and look what came in the mail today. Loving it. Tell me why Nova said, I get first drink. No, no, no. Children, you do not touch my mug. That's mine. Mama putting her foot down. <laughs> you get it somewhere else. Go get your own. <laughs> well, I thought that we will, before we go through the nails, we will look at some of the Discord posts. For the art challenge of any character, which is an ongoing challenge. Yes, a new mug. I actually won it on a raffle on Ramon's stream. Ramon's works. If you haven't checked him out, check him out. We're going to check out some posts. I said already looking at uh, so awesome, Alice. Oh, thank you. So we're going to check these out. This was from previous streams. My entries, obviously. But there's Ramon's entry. This is what, this is the secret stream of nails he did the first time. And then there was my Hezeka. But we did, I'm not, I'm not doing mine because I, there's so many mine you guys have all seen mine, but here was J-Rob's. I liked it. I think she did a great job. So remember, you guys can post in here anytime your character art challenges. And we'll go over them from time to time to see what came out. Poor J-Rob had hers crack. But you guys can post in here as well. And this was another one she did. I think she did an amazing job. This was the picture, her inspiration, and that's what she came up with. I'll put it a little bigger. There you go. And this was her picture inspiration. I think she did a great job. I was glad to catch him doing nails last night, right? I'm always interested to see his nail streams. I'll put the crusty crab one bigger too because I like that. I think she did a good job on her character set. So anytime you guys want to enter yours, you can go ahead and enter them in there. I finished watching the VOD to see how they turned out. I don't think he's officially finished them yet, but they were awesome. I really enjoyed them. But those were some of the entries. Now that you guys have seen them, and hopefully it inspires you to maybe enter your entries into the nail art one character challenge. It gets me into them. Okay, so what we got going on here is the Star Wars set. Today I think we're going to attempt Ewok. And this is new nails. Ooh, I like them, the cat eyes. You don't know what you're gonna get. This is great when you don't want to pay attention to things. You can just sit there. Ooh. 
I was doing that last night at the barbecue. <laughs> I am the worst at drawing. It's all fun. It doesn't matter how good you are. Well, my uh, customer wanted to know if I could make a certain thing. I'm not happy with the two attempts so far. I'm still working on it, but this was my first attempt at this skull that she wants. Uh, Five Finger Death Punch, I think is the band. I can't remember. I'd have to double check. But that was my first attempt at it. Second one I liked a little better. But I still think I can rock it out even better, so I'm going to try that again. But th when she asked me if I could do that, I started to play around to see what I can come up with for her. So I think that was cool. Yes, most definitely cool. So today we're going to try and do Ewok. And I have four more to do. Oh, thank you, H-Town. I don't think I'm that talented. I know there's many people out there that can draw a lot better than I can. <laughs> I just like to do it. It's fun. <laughs> and, you know, challenging myself only helps with all the uh, artwork in general. So, meh. I will tempt my hat at anything once. At once. I'm going to move this back just a little bit. And then we're going to get our paints out for the day. So I did make a streaming schedule today. <gasps> I know, right? I'm going to try to commit to Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 3 p.m. doing nails. And then Sunday nights at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time is our lovely game night. We have some fun with those. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I'll just put that over to the side. We're going to get some colors out that we think we're going to use for this venture today. I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. I was still on weekend mode because technically uh, yesterday was a holiday for us. So we went to a barbecue. It's 2 p.m. in Houston, so we're one hour, you're one hour ahead of me. Okay. Yeah, it's so funny because there's so many different time zones that you never really know who's on at what time zone. And I know that a lot of people, especially like people on Pacific Standard Time right now, it's like 12 in the afternoon for them, lunchtime. I know they might not be able to hit up my stream because A, they're working, but they might be able to pop in on a lunch break. Who knows? But this time just works best for me. But that's why the VODs are always up there. So if you miss it, hopefully you can still get some enjoyment and some creativity out of it. Because we're all here just trying to help one another keep our creative juices flowing. J. Rob's in school, right? I think so. Usually by the time I start stream, most of the time, she's either just finishing school. But it all depends because it depends on if her chickens need or there's anything around the house that she needs to do. But she'll usually pop in at some point if she's around. But she does have her upcoming mock state board. I think I saw June 5th and 6th. I know she's pretty nervous about that, but aren't we all? It's the same way I am every time I turn on the stream. I'm like, oh, am I going to be able to do it today? But we all will have our nerves, and sometimes we let the nerves get the best of us. Me, my nerves get the best of me, especially when I'm driving. Still haven't gone for my second part of my license because I'm not confident enough yet. Sometimes I wonder, will I ever really be? Uh, who knows? Who knows? It's just that I get good driving for a while, but then brain fog happens and then I overguess myself and then it becomes a tragedy that I'm just like yep nope I'm done driving for the day eventually I hope I can finish it but <laughs> who knows I'm at work happily lurking away well lurk on I'm all about the lurk <laughs> as long as it's giving you guys creative ideas on what to do on your nails next that's the main goal 
that and just to have some friendly chit chat or venting or as I like to call it adult time where you talk to nobody but adults <laughs> this one's going to be an interesting adventure today I feel because you know uh, it is a character as always I did my license for lash tech right after I graduated so many girls still haven't gone saying they are scared and gonna fail right we, we psych ourselves out that's why I try to say, always have positive thinking. I know my art's not the best, but you know what? I enjoy doing it, so that's all that matters. <laughs> or at least that's what I keep telling myself. <laughs> I want one more color, I think. I think we're going to go with this one. Just trying to make sure we have all our color palettes up. But no, it's, it's true. We have things that, like... We get psyched out about where we're like, you know what? I don't think I can do this. I'm not good enough. That's why I like there's a song that by Nas FX that I like. It's called Fight Back. It's not children appropriate. I'm not going to deny that. But it is, you know, I'm talking about how you're never going to make it. There's a million other people doing the same stuff. And it's true. But, you know, if you really want to do it and you really enjoy doing it, just because a million other people are doing it doesn't mean you can't try. You should always try. You never know. You might surprise yourself. I felt like the longer I waited, I would forget everything I learned. So I went right away. That is true, true. The longer you don't do something, the worse it gets. Like the other day I stepped in the car and I was trying to remember, okay, which one's gas and which one's brake again? And then my kids were like, well, mom, I don't think you should be driving if you can't remember. I'm like, oh, I know. I'm not the greatest here, you know? Don't learn anything from your mother. Her nerves are shot. The funny thing is, I know for a fact I would be driving if I just did it when I was 16. No, no, no. Here I am at 36 now. Yeah, I think that's what I am. Great. Don't even know how old I am. But, and now I'm questioning, like, oh my god, if I just did it when I was 16 and I didn't have kids, and then, you know, the adult worries didn't come in, I might have actually been driving, and now this wouldn't be a thing. But because I waited so long... The anxiety, the stress, is all there, like, tenfold. So, that's why I say, like, to my kids, like, just do your license when you're 16. Get it over with. The longer you wait, the worse it's going to be. And I have never stopped. See? That's what I wish I did. But see, for me, I couldn't afford it. I also graduated with a pregnant belly. <laughs> So my main focus was being a mom. And I was like, well, I have a husband that drives. I don't need to drive. But then after a while, I was like, you know what? I'm sick of having to wait for him to drive me everywhere. I'm going to try. So I've been like four years on my G1. And it's going to expire next summer. And guess what? I have to rewrite it and pay for it all over again. But I don't mind it. It's going to take me a while to get there. But I'm confident eventually... I will build up enough nerve to do it. Or at least that's the hope. But, like I said, you never know. You just have to keep trying. You won't know unless you try. So I keep trying. That's like, I was never into nails. If you had asked me years ago, like, all I wanted to do was daycare. Did daycare till about just before, co what, just when COVID hit, I, that's when I quit. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going back to daycare. I'm too old for this now. <laughs> and now I'm enjoying it. My mom got her license at 43. My dad landed jail and she was off us to school and she was forced otherwise she probably wouldn't drive right now that is true when you're forced it makes it a little more cur like okay I gotta do this for me I was not forced but I'm not gonna lie I'm just trying to do it just for the sake of doing it because if something happens and my husband can't drive anymore somebody needs to be able to drive but my anxiety gets the worst of me and when I say the worst to me, I really mean the worst to me. 
Like, my anxiety is through the roof when I drive. And it probably doesn't help that so many people can't drive. I don't even know how they got their license in the first place. As my dad always says, when did they get the license? The Cracker Jack box? Well, I'm beginning to think that a lot of people, some I don't understand, because uh, people I know that can drive have failed their test. But yet, on the roads, I see so many people that can't drive. But that's the thing. They learn how to drive just to get their test, and then all the bad habits come. But, like, I'm pretty sure when you went to get your license, you got told how to l use a blinker. But yet, how many people do I see changing lanes all the time and never signal at all? Like, that is one of my biggest pet peeves. Like, don't change lanes if you don't even bother to put on your single. A, you shouldn't drive if you don't put on your signal. Like, how are people supposed to know what your intentions are? So, that's my theory. Now, could I be wrong? Yes, of course. Oh, I'm already hitting the camera. We're starting this one off with a banger. Hitting the camera. My seven-year-old is learning to drive, and I tell them her basically, it's learning to drive stu at stupid drivers. Yeah, that's what my husband keeps telling me. He keeps telling me, you, you d like, you know, you just don't worry about the other people. Make your, make your decision and stick with it. But I don't know. I I automatically panic and swerve. Which obviously I'm creating a bigger incident. This is why I don't have my full license yet. <laughs> I, will, I don't know how people drive badly because, you know, I won't do it unless, like, I won't drive. Like, I literally stick to the school parking lot still. And my husband tries to get me on the road out, like, just from one entrance to the next entrance of the school. And even sometimes I'm like, nope, I'm not confident enough yet. So I don't understand how these people think they're good drivers when they're absolute shit. <laughs> Like yesterday, last night, I swear to God, the person in front of us on the highway was drunk. They were swerving, chain leading. They almost took the front end of our, off of our car. And I was like, oh my God. See, this day, it was like 1030 at night. But I'm like, I cannot deal with this. Like, if you don't know how to drive, don't drive, please. And even worse, because of the, the way he was not even staying in the lane and swerving and stuff, I was like. You must be drunk. Like, you must be. There's, there's, there's no explanation that you can't stay inside your lane. And those are the worst to me, drunk drivers. Like, you're going to take somebody else's life for no reason. Because I don't know how that, I don't know how the, the fates or the gods or however you want to, whatever you want to say it is. I don't understand how. The drunk driver walks away. Sure, he gets charged and has to go through court and stuff. But the other people are dead. Like, that's not fair karma to me. <laughs> that is my rant of the day. Sorry, guys, if you don't agree with me. But it's okay. You can agree to disagree. wet the whistle as they say but now I chopped off all my nails and put on press-ons because the next set that we do the Doctor Who set I'm gonna do them for myself and rock them you know who has a big problem with drunk driving there's at least two or three five a week. Wow. See, that would drive me nuts. Like, I've taught the kids from day one. You're gonna drink, you better have cab money. And don't tell me that your friend is not drinking when they're at a party with you, and they're gonna be the designated driver. I, I don't believe that story 100%. Please use a cab. But like I said, 
that is my personal qualm with it. We have at least three cases per week. Oh my goodness. Well, road rage, I can tell you who has severe road rage. My husband. He, did, he cannot stand stupid drivers. He feels that they should know that they're stupid. And I keep telling him, it's not worth it. It is not worth it. You letting them know that they're dumbass is not going to change them being a dumbass. But he likes to think magically. It can, I guess. I don't know. We're going to try here. With some alloys. This one might not be dark enough. But we'll see. I think this is too close in shade. I might have to darken this up a bit. I think it's too close in shade. Yeah, there's a. That's why, like, Family Guy, when they did that whole segment on what really grinds my gears, I'm like, yes, I like that. Can we have this segment in real life? But the problem is, too many people, too many opinions, freedom of speech can get out of hand sometimes. <laughs> But no, there's, there's been some crazy accidents here too. Nope, I'm gonna die because you can't handle your anger, right? No, my husband. Will, thankfully, he's he'll yell, but it's hilarious because he's yelling at them. But like, hello. You're not in the car with those people. They cannot hear anything coming out of your mouth. I'm the one hearing it. <laughs> and that's not going to change anything. But, yeah. I also tell my husband, like, you know, you have to remember. You're the one that's going to get in trouble before they are. Yes, they might have almost, like, took the nose off your car. With their bad driving, Ugh. but the only one that's really going to affect is you. Ugh. To them, they don't care. But you know, everybody has their things. That's how I like to say it. It's almost like you know, anime. Everyone has their quirks. We just learn to maneuver with them, I guess you'd say. You know what, that's too big of a bob. <laughs> We're just gonna have a... We're gonna put this in... I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, eyes, nose, oh, hello, J-Rob. Did you go to school today? Did you have fun? I bet you you're excited for your mock exam even though you are still nervous. I'm sure you're all kinds of excited because I would be excited and nervous as well. To know you're almost there. You can see the finish line. That's pretty exciting. We will be rooting for you on those days. Just like we will root for anybody else in our stream that is trying to achieve their goals. That's why we should always set goals and try to achieve them. Because you never know what you can do. I never thought in a day in my life that I would do nails. And now look at me. <laughs> All I'm doing is nails. <laughs> Ooh, you're studying. See, you're, you're gonna ace that. You've been studying, you've been hitting the books, and you've got, what, two weeks till your mock exam? How far after the mock exam do you write your exam? I can, but this nervousness is kicking in. I have a lot of stuff to try and remember. I'm more nervous about the theory than the practical. Yeah, I, I see a lot of people. I, don't, I can't speak because, like, 
living in Canada, we don't have to be licensed like that. But I see a lot of people saying, like, the practical's a joke. Just do the exam. I graduate June 30th. Ooh! That's so exciting. Just remember, as much as you're nervous and you don't think you're ready, just write it right after while everything's fresh in your brain. The longer you take, some of that information might slip away. It's always just, even though you think, oh, I'm going to fail, just do it. At least if you, even if you do fail, you kind of get to see what you need to study. And you can always try again. That's like I tell the kids with their stuff, like, as long as you try your hardest, and you just try it, at least. You never know. It's a 250 question exam, no writing. Ooh. The practical was so easy for me for Lash Tech license because it was COVID time. I didn't go through. So they couldn't really see me. Nice. COVID had its perks. <laughs> and it had its headaches. <laughs> Or at least that's what I'll call it. It had it perks and it had its headaches. Uh, who's excited for tomorrow? I will not be streaming tomorrow because I know where you guys will be because that's where I'll be. Well, I know where some of you might be. We gotta get in on that YN Glitterathon. Right? The Glitterathon. I wonder how many marker sets they're gonna give out. Because I know that's gonna be one of the giveaways. I don't know if they're gonna give out one or two of them, but I know that's gonna be one of the giveaways. I wonder if they're gonna do the neon clays. But because they've been hyping these markers up so much, I would be shocked to see if they didn't do a giveaway with the markers. Yeah, cause that is a good question, J. Rob. How many how many hours is Lash School? I know a few people up here are in college f or university for Lash, but up here, I, it's like you guys down there. But there's no we have no specialty of thing. You just have to take Cosmo. You have to do it all. You can't just specialize in nails. You can't just specialize in lashes. You can't specialize in hair cutting. You have to do it all. Which I think is kind of ridiculous, because if I've never want to cut anyone's hair in my life, why should I be tortured to learn it? Because if you don't want to do something, you're not going to be happy to do be there. And how much are you really learning when you're miserable? I remember stuff from five months ago, yeah. That's okay. You made notes, I'm sure. You had tests. I'd definitely reread my test. That would definitely help. That's what I used to do in, in school, too, for the exams and stuff. It's always reread my notes because that would be the best gauge of what I was saying. Because at that time, to understand something, I was putting it in, in my terms, you know? Or things that I could jot down to remember how to do things properly. They focus more on the sanitation and disinfection and eye sickness to recognize. Oh yeah. Well, your eyes are very important. Like with me being a diabetic, I have to get an eye exam every year and they have to look at the back of my eyes because diabetes takes away your eyesight. But so far, my eyes are showing perfect, so... Well, except for the fact that eventually they're saying because as you get old, your eye lenses just scratch anyway, so... Eventually, for like night driving or reading, I might have to get a pair of glasses. But she's like, at this time, it's not needed, but th in the future, it'll probably be there. I got waxing too, Jero, because the eyelashes and the eyebrows go with the license. Oh, so you had to do eyebrow waxing too, or just like all waxing? It's interesting, I'm learning so much from you guys and how things are done there. 
in different fields. I like I like learning. Learning is so much fun. Might not be something I'd be interested in because I live in a different state. It does not apply to me for the most part. I still like to see it, how people, like, you know, do it and what the requirements are. Because, like I said, up here you gotta do Cosmo. So you have to do it all. You can't just be like, oh, I only want to specialize in nails. Nope. You get your hair cutting, your nails, your braids. <laughs> Waxing is 350 hours and some excessive to me. They wouldn't let me do it at the same time as my nail hours. Oh, that sucks. All waxing except for private photos, although we got taught it's only for... In okay. Interesting. So they teach you it, but you're not allowed to do any of that. <laughs> that that is the no no square <laughs> like we teach the kids that's the no no square Cosmo is 100 uh I let you close in nails Ah, oh, interesting yeah i saw a couple girls up here that said they wanted to go to school for lashes but they had to take Cosmo where they have to do lashes and nails and hair and I was like but wait if you don't want all that well <laughs> that, that just seems ridiculous to me I think they would ha make more money special like having schools that specialize in what people want to do because even if they don't end up doing it someone might go in for nails next two twos be like oh now I want to learn lashes and then go to lashes you'd make more money off of having it all separate I would think but, you know, I'm not the school. I'm not the school and I'm not going to pretend I am. <laughs> well, that's always fun. I know, that's why, like, as much as I don't want to say things certain things to my kids because you know to me they're still my kids but like they all they want to get into animation they want to get into art and I keep telling them like believe it or not one of the best ways to do it is the anatomy of a body like you really have to like draw the naked body because it's got the muscles. It's got. It, there's so much learning that is done just from trying to replicate a body. It doesn't matter the shape, the size of it, or whatever it is. But like the finer details of it is what helps you become a better drawer. See, I don't go to the salon for my nails. I went to my friend, and that's how I got started on nails. But I do wax my own chin. I was never trained. I've just been doing it on my own since I was like 16. Uh, sometimes I think, yeah, maybe I should get trained, but like I've been doing it so long that it works for me. I would never do it on somebody else, but it works for me. Because I like the sugar wax. I've even made my own sugar wax. But I just like it. That's like uh, my birth control needle. My doctor said uh, I could give myself that needle myself. Because he watched me do it. And he's like, okay, you know what? Instead of you booking an appointment and wasting like someone who could use the time... Cause all I'm doing is sticking you with a needle. He's like, and you showed me you know how to do it. He's like, so from now on, I'll just give you the needle and you can do it yourself. And I was like, sure, why not? So I've literally been doing my own stuff for my own self <laughs> for a long time. So for me, there's certain things that I'm like, nah, I'll just do it myself. I still pay to get my eyebrows waxed, but the rest I do myself now. But I do my daughter's eyebrows and clients who ask. Nice. The eyebrows, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big fan of waxing eyebrows. 
I mean, I really don't touch my eyebrows at all anyways, but like if I got it like for my wedding, I went and got them threaded. Threading, I like. People are like, oh, but that hurts so much. I don't know. It feels like a massage for my eyebrow. Waxing just feels like pain. But yeah, it's all up to personal preference. That's why I always say, you know, we all have our personal preferences. And it's okay. We are all alive like that. I tried to convince my daughter to to go get her eyebrows threaded cause, or waxed, but she's not into that. Maybe we'll get her to do it for her prom, but you know, I just want her to feel her best self. I, but I, we try not to like, we. I don't wear makeup. I don't do any of my eyes and stuff. I try to t- teach my kids that, you know, love your beauty for what it is. So, like, to do those things, it's kind of hypocritical. But I know that sometimes you just want to feel nice for a special occasion. So, if she wants to do it then, she's more than welcome to it. But I would never, like, tell her she has to do those things. But... (laughs) funny thing is she did she came down with this uh she went did this survey about the shampoo to use for your type of hair i was trying to tell her like just like most of this stuff nowadays it's a money grab gimmick i'm starting to give you so much anxiety see for me it's just like it's like a massage on my eyebrow for me so like it didn't bother me but that's what i'm saying like everybody has their preference like there's some people that'll wax there's some people that will thread there's some people that even shave their eyebrows like ra- and there's some that razor blade them razor blading i can't get behind i don't know that that just scares me <laughs> my cousin's been after me for a while oh you should try it i'm like you know i'll stick to threading no but this is it's, it's even more painless than threading yeah no i anyway you slice it to me that does not sound fun But, you know, thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> but that's why I say that everybody has their preference, and it's okay. It is absolutely okay to have, it like, your method... But at the same time, also remember, it's okay to try new things. Because if you don't try new things, you'll never know what you like. I have entered the building. Please refrain from spamming caps. Yes, Streamlabs is actually doing some things now. I still have to figure out how to do it. A lot of things with the Streamlabs, but yeah, it's working. I went. I'm off to pick up. Well, I'm off to pick up the girls. Be right back if you're still here. Not talk to you later. Take care, each town. Have fun picking up the kiddos. See, oof, Nova. <laughs> Nova redeemed a hydrate. What are you trying to do? Make me pee my pants? Hydration? No thanks. It's always good to stay hydrated. I used to be so embarrassed about my chin waxing. And I have a lot of hairs. Right? Uh, the funny thing is, is a lot of my family members actually have PCOS. I have not, I, it has not shown up in any of my work yet that I've gotten done. But I don't know. Maybe it's the birth control that I take or something. But I always joke with my husband. I can, I can grow a bigger beard than him. I gotta keep waxing that thing because I'm not, man. <laughs> I, I become a real man. But that's the thing I always say. Well, you know, when I get old, when I get real old, and I have no more time for this nonsense of keeping myself looking good, you're gonna be you're gonna be married to uh, Bigfoot. <laughs> get ready to sleep with the very hairy thing. <laughs> because I'm not. I can guarantee you, I don't see myself like you know doing too much as a old old person like come on 
some of us get so, like get arthritis in our hands and stuff and you can't do things and I would not trust myself to be doing the things that I do now at an older age just saying I need to get my own emotes then you should do it but you have to decide do you want a mascot for your channel Nova, do you want uh, just general gaming stuff? You know? It all depends on what you want. Me, because mostly my streaming is about nails, we decided to go the nail buddy route. And because they're cool. And because we can always keep changing them and come up with new artistic nail buddies to have fun with. Or at least that's my thought on it. We'll see how that goes over time. I need a bit of light for my bathroom. I always see these giant hairs once I'm out of, uh, in my car. Right? Wendy, I agree, girl. I agree. <laughs> I even went so far as to buy that flawless thing. So, like, if I'm going just before, like, I, even though, you know, you do all that before your trip, but, you know, you're not going to be carrying around all that wax and all that stuff on your trip. So I bought the Flawless to do that. And let me tell you. I don't understand how they call it that thing. Painless. Because when it rips a hair or gets caught in the hair. Ooh, that thing hurts. But I'm like, wax seems better. Oh, trust me. I don't know what it is about the car. I don't know if it's the windshield. Like how it magnifies the light through or something. But every time I'm in the car and I put the, wind the mirror down. Think I'm not the driver. I'm in the passenger side, so I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I'm always like picking things. Oh my goodness! And my husband's like, "Just leave it alone." And I'm like, "But I can see it. And now that I've seen it, it's gonna bug me." Like, no, it needs to be dealt with. But that's why I try to every two weeks. I try to wax my chin. But you know, COVID. You know, supplies were limited. I might, and nobody was going out anywhere. I might have turned into the woolly mammoths. That's why I'm saying when I'm old and don't want to do these things anymore. Yeah. And this is what, th this is what I don't think men understand. Is yes, I'm all for the girls that want to be all natural and you don't have to shave all the time. No, I don't shave all the time either. But, you know, there are times where you want to look nice, clean, and pretty. <laughs> And there's other times where you're like, I don't want to be mistaken for a man, so my chin hair must go. <laughs> but there are some that will rock it and have fun with it. And hey, all the power to you guys. Oh, hello, Punchbug. You're welcome in. All the power to you guys. I know a girl that used to rock a full beard. And I was like, hey, if that's what you like, knock your socks off. Me, it would not really be my cup of tea. Like the, 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 I can rock it for a little bit, but once it gets to the point that I'm annoyed, it's gone. <laughs> There's a party in the chat and you're all invited. We are working on Ewok today, for those who are just joining. This is what we're attempting to do today. We always attempt to push the button. We have four, three more nails after this one, and then we're done with Star Wars and on to Doctor Who. Oh, Milo, are you okay? Uh, then we're on to Doctor Who, and then after that, I don't know what we're set we're going to do next. Maybe we'll just be playing with some stuff. Maybe we'll play with some foils. Maybe we'll do a set. You guys can all put ideas in my Discord on what you guys want to see, and we will see what we can do. But I do know Doctor Who is next. The ritual saying, Hi, yeah. Uh. Ooh, that doctor, right? That doctor. I really hope you get the package before Doctor Who. I know, so we can play with the 
what is it called? Flocking is the actual word for it. Yeah, I want to play with that too. I've got some ideas. I want to. I, I thought about two. We're going to play with it on a nail. Then I think we're going to dump one in some water in a cup. Then take it out and see if it should. What happens after stream about it getting wet and stuff. But who knows? My package, my package just came to. Ooh, nice. Well, today I got my package that was lost. And guess what? If, just before my stream, because like I said, everyone likes to call just before I go streaming. I don't understand why this is a thing. But the post office even called me to make sure that they got it. Which I was like, kudos on you guys. Because I know you guys messed up. The key was not in my mailbox. Someone put it in the wrong place. Hopefully that person isn't fired. Because, hey, we all have bad days. But it was not my fault. But here we go. Ooh, it's the Raw Monkey Adventure Mug. I love it. It's so pretty. I have a... I'm just waiting for J-Rob's gift to come. So we can play with that on stream. Hey, Alice. Do you need a point on con? Yes, Nova, I do. We're going to call them nail points. So I was thinking maybe... A ticket or something with a nail on it? I don't know. I'm still messing around with things. Like I said, I'm new to the Twitch universe. So we're trying. But if you want to work on that, at Nova, you are more than welcome to. Knock your heart out. Well, actually, don't. Don't knock it out. You need to live. But. Have fun. <laughs> I guess that's the better way to say it. Don't let your mom say things, because who knows, the words that come out of her mouth might not be correct. <laughs> Note to self, be careful what you say. But at the same time, this is my channel, so I'm not going to walk on eggshells 100%. Just 75. This is looking pretty oh, funny, but hey. Kind of looks like a potato man. <laughs> the potato man instead of Ewok. It's all good. We're getting there. One stroke at a time. The funny thing is, they they know they screwed up so bad. They knocked on my door this morning at like 11 o'clock in the afternoon. Then, what was it? 2.50? The post office called me. Hello, ma'am. Is this blah, blah, blah? I was like, yes. They're like, I'm just wondering, did you get your package? It will come together. They always do, right? You just have to keep trust in the process. This was one of Kayla's nails that she was, she didn't like this one, so they didn't get on her. She did like four of these and well, maybe eight of them because she's got like four on. She has some that she didn't like. And then obviously this was an, my first nail that I played with to see what I wanted. And then I went with the whole set. Because <laughs> it's just so cool. I love it. Oh, and for those of you who just joined in, the a customer asked me to make something, so this was my first attempt. If you're on my Discord, you've already seen this. This was my first attempt and my second attempt. And I'll be making more attempts tomorrow during all. Who knows what I'll be doing tomorrow? Tomorrow's YN's. Which I know you're all going to be there if you're like me. It's the Glitterathon. So I will be making nails off stream tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Punch Buggy. Yeah, I think it's Five five Finger Punch Ban or something like the Death Punch Ban or something. I can't remember the name of it. But that's what they wanted and I'm working on how to make it. <laughs> I'm going to pass on the Go Time Polish Bundle. But I'm getting the pens and the jelly colors. Are the jelly colors the neon ones or just are those the jellies? different because sometimes i'm confused when people are talking about the jellies i know i just saw the neons and all that goes through my head right now is neons pens neons pens because i 
I'm not gonna lie, like, I love my neon powders. <laughs> Just grab the first one, and that one's not even the neon ones. Well, there are some in it, but it's not my favorite combination ones. <sighs> well, of course, I can't find it now. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice seeing Ramon use the uh, pens last night. I'm not gonna lie. But, you know. You don't, I, I don't think they have to work too hard to sell those pens. <laughs> like I was saying, the reviews on Amazon are the pens I was going to buy. Every time I buy them, I read the reviews. Because I always read the reviews before I invest in something off of Amazon. And a lot of people are like, half of them came, they didn't work. Half of this, this is not YN. I'm not talking about YN. YN hasn't even released them yet. <laughs> so anyone that's thinking I'm talking about YN, no, 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 I'm not. <laughs> but a lot of them, I, that's why I haven't purchased pens because I'm like, I want to because I like I think it'll make nice for writing and stuff. But when I see the reviews and like half of them aren't dead. Oh, they don't have color. They, they're they too weak. I'm like, nope, not investing in it. Maybe next time. And we're going to go. Oh, wait, not this color. The jelly is what Tracy was wearing with the glitter, and I'm debating on the neon clays too, right? Those neon clays look nice, I'm not going to lie. The pens could be good for reverse stamping. Ooh, good thought, Punch Buggy. I never even thought about the reverse stamping part of that. Here we are all getting out our little thing and little thing and <laughs> doing it that way, but no, those pens would work for that too. Hmm. Any more fragile with some bits and files. I'm going to break the bank. Yeah, right? I see some people, I don't even know what bank they're using. Because their bank is more infinite than mine. <laughs> but hey, if you can afford it, and you love it, go at it. <laughs> but some people's orders, I'm like, almost every sale, it's a couple hundred dollars. I'm like, whoa. Nope, not for me, not the sale. Can I show your oldest nail design you can find? Hey. Don't know if you saw this, but can you show your oldest nail design you can find? What oldest nail design is that, Nova? The new flan set? The Grenada set? I can't even remember what the oldest one is. I don't know. The oldest one you can remember. Well, the first two I ever, first two nail designs I ever did were these two, because they're on the uh, hand nails for the hands. Which actually, I got an order for this one coming in soon. My mother-in-law wants—I don't know if she wants all of these or just this one, but she wants a whole Grenadian set because. The Grenadian Prime Minister is going to be coming to Ontario. And they're hanging out with him or whatever. I don't know how it's all going down, but she just requested that set. So I'm like, yep, no problem. I got you. And that was that was the first set I did. So I'm pretty sure I can make that flag a lot better now than I did then. That was like the third time I did nails. So I'm sure I can make it better now. Or at least I hope I can. It's been a few months of practice. If I can't make it better now, it never will. <laughs> it never will get better. Or at least I don't think it'll get better at that point. But we'll see. And like I said, we just keep trying. That's all we do. We just keep trying to improve our craft. And if you, if you actually enjoy doing it, it becomes fun. And then it's not so much work as fun. For me, even though these things sometimes look a little silly, I still have fun making every single one of them. And to me, that's the best. And then the fundamentals I'm learning after and working with colors and how they sit and how they lay. I don't know. It gives me encouragement. Noah, should boys wear nail polish? 
I wonder what he'll say to that one. Oh, hello, Sandy. Welcome in. Ooh, that'd be great experience. I'm missing some of the chat. Uh. Oh, experience should I how long have you been doing nails I have been doing nails since August since August so in the beginning of August of this year will be one year so it's almost at my one year mark and I think I've come a long way from like I can't wait to redo this set as well because like this was like, the, like I said, the first set I did. These lines are a little wonky, but I think now in the windows and stuff, but I think now I could probably bang that off good. A lot better. But it's all about practicing. And then the Ramones from his challenge. The Chainsaw Man. And then this one is Nova's. He even tried one. That one's Kayla's. And that one is Kayla's. The rest are obviously all my collaboration. Honestly, yeah, I wouldn't know. Ooh, nice answer. I, I, w I was going to rat him out a bit and be like, hmm, I, I have put nail polish on him. It has happened. But it's usually for him, it's like black, green, red. Right, Nova? I've only done your nails twice. And he actually wore them to school once. I'm not going to lie. Hey, Snoop Dogg does his nails. So can everybody else. <laughs> Why can't guys express themselves through nails just like girls? Hmm, showing off my monstrosity. Yes, Nova. That's what... I, I, I am your mother. It's my God-given right to embarrass my children. How oh, cool my grandson wanted to do when he's only eight, so I didn't want him using gel, but I'm going to let him use those YN pens and make any alert. Hey, have fun with it. Why not? He, Nova's had gel on his nails. He was 10 or 9 the first time I did it. But, like I said, it, I, I didn't really prep his nails properly. Because I, I didn't think he was going to keep it on long. It was more of a, just slap some color on and a top coat. I don't even remember if I put base coat, to be honest. I just slapped some on his nails. Because I was doing his sister's nails. And I was like, yeah, let me do yours. But it's true. It would help guys as well as girls not bite your nails if you have something pretty to look at, right? Or at least that's the hope. Right? Guys should. If guys want to wear it, all the power to them. I think anybody, just like they, back in the day when they're like, oh, this is a man's job, oh, this is a woman's job. I could give flying tutus about what a woman's job and what a man's job is. If you like it, you do it. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. People need to stop being so blah, as they call it. Like, just enjoy being you. And you uh, can be apologetic, um, unapologetically you at any time you want. Yes, Nova. Ooh, that's kind of cute. You want to see what Nova just brought me down? He's been working on... Don't put it down, Nova. I won't put it on the polish. He's making little tickets for the points. Nail points. That's his little ticket he just came up with. While he's been watching me stream. I think it's cute. That might just be what we'll use. The nail point. Ticket. For our channel points. I have the kids. And letting them make the emojis. Letting them make. The enhancements for the channel. You know. They can be involved with it as much as I am. I don't care. Maybe, maybe when. If I'm still doing this down the road and they've moved out, they'll still want to come by and help their mama. <laughs> or at least that's my hope. But yeah, he hasn't worn nail polish probably in six or seven months. But 
usually around Halloween time is when I can get him to do it. That's when he's more willing to do it. <laughs> I even t I even told I even made press ons for him with the monsters on them for Halloween. Like so, I told him like he could just put them on and take them off after Halloween if he wanted to. If he's afraid his friends would make fun of him. But I personally think who cares if your friends make fun of you? They're not your friends. I don't know why people keep raising kids to be so mean. <laughs> I know it's not always the parents' fault. <laughs> kids will be kids. <laughs> Kids will always be kids. We're gonna come up here with this one, I think. When I do manicures on my husband, I can use the clear matte top coat only. <laughs> hey! You know, I know many guys that I even went to high school that went and got pedicures, okay? Even though they're just clear, they were getting pedicures because they wanted nice nails. And you know what? Hey, if it makes you feel good about yourself, I say do whatever you want. That's like, yes, I don't, I don't tell my kids, oh, you need to wax. Oh, you need to, you know, you need to tame those eyebrows. Like I hear some parents telling their kids, oh, you got to do this. You got to do that. No, my kids, I tell them, you be whatever you want to be. I really don't care because at the end of the day, the only thing I care about is that you're a good human. You want long hair? Like I, Many people have told my son to cut his hair. His hair is down to his shoulders. Many people are always like, oh, you look like a girl. Even my own family members telling him he looks like a girl. But, I don't care. He wants long hair, he can have long hair. He wants a mullet, he can have a mullet. He wants a shaved head, he can have a shaved head. He wants purple hair, I don't care. My hubby and father are both good at sports when the kids want to do nails. Aw, that's so cute, Wendy. When you say you got to clean your room. Well, when you when do you say you got to clean your room? I don't know what you mean when I say you have to clean your room. Yeah, then you have to clean your room. That's part of being a kid. Sorry. Love you. Good nail hygiene is a must, but the guys who I'm dating should not have pretty with anything <laughs> nails included. <laughs> it wouldn't bother me so much, but hey, like I said, if that's your thing, that's your thing. <laughs> but trust me, I'm not going to lie, my husband, 